Once ready, the lime was mixed with volcanic ash and water in varying proportions depending on the nature of the project. For maritime construction, more ash would be added to achieve higher strength and water resistance. For land-based structures, the proportions would be more balanced. The most fascinating part of this process was the mixing itself, which transformed these raw components into what we now call Roman concrete. Without electric mixers or industrial facilities, the Romans relied on manual labor or large wooden paddles to blend the materials. Layers of lime, ash, and water were spread over flat ground and gradually mixed. They were careful to use clean, fresh water, unless the construction was for marine use, in which case they observed that seawater produced chemical reactions that enhanced the material's strength. This simple observation led to later innovation, as Roman engineers began deliberately using seawater in harbor foundations. Through continued trial and observation, the Romans realized this mixture did not harden as quickly as pure lime, but instead took more time to cure and became far more durable over time, ideal for large structures requiring long-lasting stability. They also noticed that the heat generated from the lime water reaction accelerated certain chemical processes with the ash enhancing the bond. They would pour the mixture into wooden or stone molds to form columns and walls, allowing it to set slowly.